Hello, uh, Daisy. So today is a special day, Christine. It is. Um, for those of you just joining us, welcome. I am Stacey Keller, the CEO founder of Ponyback Hats, all the hats. Um, and I had this special opportunity this past spring to pitch to the Canadian Dragon's Den show. And we are going to actually watch my pitch today. So there's a whole long story about how that all happened. You can see the first part of that story. If we link Christine to our past video that I took on the behind the scenes of actually like going there, preparing for the pitch and then pitching that happened like six months ago. whirlwind i'm just like i need to just i just need to side tangent before we i don't know whatever you can use this if you want but like it's literally been a whirlwind this week like yeah. i'm not even kidding. i'm just was like we moved to the fulfillment center on monday mm -hmm. that was crazy like just me getting home like kids the kids separate my husband's gone on a work trip yeah uh then i found out i I think I told you, I think I texted you yesterday that our next shipment is coming in when I am gone. So like, I'm heading off to Disney with my family. We planned this trip, but my husband's already there because he's on a work conference and we're just like attaching onto the end of it. And the shipment is coming literally Friday and I leave tomorrow, like it's Wednesday, tomorrow is Thursday. I leave Friday, the shipment is coming on Friday. And so like most of yesterday was just like, coordinating everything with my mom so that my mom can be there to receive the shipment because Christine is back home. And so like, I'm not making Christine come for one day of receiving a shipment for like half an hour. That's ridiculous. So my mom's gonna pinch hit for us. Well, I'm on a Disney ride somewhere, but that was just crazy. And then like, then today, and then I, ugh, I'm just, I have to pack, I have not packed anything. <laughs> We're going to Disney. I feel like my kids are like stressed out for me. I haven't even got to the point that's stressed out. It's 5 p.m. We're leaving tomorrow morning to go to Disney. I have packed nothing. Earlier before school today, my kids were like, like mom, like, like, what about this? And do we need to pack this and this? And like, are you ready for this? And like, where are we gonna park? And like, like they are being the adults, like thinking through all the things that we need to work through for this trip. I'm like, you guys, like, I don't know. I'll figure it out tonight. <laughs> but I'm like stressing them out. <laughs> Anyways, we're here now. We're here now. So after you pitch to the dragons, they don't tell you if you're actually going to be on the show or not. So you don't know. There's a lot of pictures, not all of them get selected to be on the show. And I'm assuming there's a variety of reasons why and how and how that all works out. Um, but I found out, I feel like, I don't know, two weeks ago now that I was not actually going to air on the CBC TV channel, but rather my pitch was selected as a bonus pitch for the season. And from what I understand, I don't think this is like, they don't, I don't think they've done this before. So um, it looks like every week they've been releasing a bonus pitch. So somebody like me who didn't make it onto the actual show, but our episode or our pitch rather still gets to live on the internet. And it's really awesome because I can still say like, as seen on Dragon's Den and that I was on Dragon's Den and we can like, I don't know, get any like little bits from the episode that we want. Um, so I am just super grateful, A, that I made it on the show. Cause if you will go back and watch that last uh, YouTube video that we did on it, I was on standby and there was a chance that I might not have even got to pitch to the dragons, but they called me last minute and I, and I did my pitch and that was fabulous. Um, and then this season happened at the beginning of the season, they were doing these little, um, like teaser videos to like amp up that season 17 is coming. Hooray. And like they showed a clip of Michelle wearing the hat. So that was the first time we saw like the hope of me getting on the show. And then later on in like a, after the show, like on TV, they're like up and coming up this season on Dragon's Den. And then they like literally showed my face, which was awesome. So I was like, yes, it's going to happen. 
but then was slightly disappointed that it's not actually gonna get aired on TV. But this is like, this is next best option. Like better than just be like, see you later. Your episode's not even gonna make the light of day. So great outcome that we're here. Very exciting stuff. Yes, and um, it was released like earlier today. That's the other thing. It's been, it's been a while. <sighs> It's been a while. So t the, my pitch was launched at 10 a.m. this morning, but my, my kid's teacher from school was in a flurry because they had a field trip today and some of their volunteers like canceled last minute and they were almost going to have to cancel going on the field trip. And so I was like, I can jump in, but I knew in doing that, that this was going to push off like this whole thing. So it's like after five. <laughs> And I haven't seen the episode yet. I've been getting messages from friends and family and like people in the community on our, on social media all day long. They're like, Can, like, good, great job. Congratulations. Like all this stuff is, is going on. And I'm like, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> now, clearly I was there. I know what happened, but, um, but I haven't seen it yet. So I've asked Christine. So Christine is um, the only, other pony back full-time employee at this moment <laughs> yep so i've asked christine to watch the episode with me and we're going to record like my reaction to watching the episode for the very first time for you guys so you can like be there with me and see all my reactions as it goes down because they cut stuff and they like edit it and i don't know but christine assures me it was good <laughs> yeah her text was like it's great. I'm like, okay, I hope that is everything wonderful and they didn't make me look like an idiot. So I think that's in the clear and nobody texted me anything otherwise, so. Yeah. Yeah, she texted me this morning and she's like, I'm on the field trip. Can you watch it as soon as it goes up and let me know if it's really bad or not? So I watched it earlier today. It was fabulous. You're, you're good, no worries. They didn't, you know, edit anything horrible. It's all good, so. Awesome. So yes, so we're here today to watch the seven long episode as I sit here and cringe because I'm sure it's not going to be pleasant for me. But, uh, you know, like just when you watch yourself back and doing some of those things, like I'm, I'm anyway, I'm, I'm sure I'll be super critical, but I'm super grateful for the opportunity. So, yeah. I don't know. What yeah. do we do? What do we do from here, Christine? Like, without further ado, like, let's watch the episode. <laughs> Are you gonna share it for me? Yeah, I'll share it on the screen. So, I do. I'm not gonna full screen it. Um, <laughs> don't laugh at yourself already. Come on. Uh, there's my big face on my computer yeah, screen. Yeah, they zoomed in on like everyone very, very closely. I noticed that. So it wasn't just you, they did it with the dragons too. All right. Are you ready? No. But yes. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's go. Okay. Next in the den, an entrepreneur hoping the dragons will pony up the cash to bring her hats to the next level. Hi dragons, my name is Stacy Keller. I'm from Plattsville, Ontario, and my company name is Ponyback. I'm here today to ask for $150,000 for 12% of my company. As a mom of three boys, I am always making sure they are wearing their hats outside. One day, my oldest turned to me and said, but mom, you're not wearing a hat. <laughs> but I quickly realized I could not rock my high pony or messy bun with that style. <laughs> With a little ingenuity and my kids' magnetic toys, <laughs> I created Ponyback, a fitted stretch fit hat that has a unique patent pending opening that accommodates oh, your too. hairstyle just like this. It's about time somebody thought of that. That is such a good <laughs> idea. Easy no that, that is. <laughs> Why didn't anybody think of this before? Oh my God. Exactly, Robert. <laughs> Dragons, the hats are right beside you on your tables. Please take a look. Oh, there we go. Oh my God. Voila. Okay. Oh Such my God. Idea. Let's do this. That is brilliant. Thank you. you got Actually, this, uh, this kind of matches my suit. 
It's a really well-made hat. Really well-made. <laughs> so for the last 12 months, um, we've made 1,090,000 oh, yes. gross what? sales. 1 million what? what? Stacy in hats? You are the most extraordinary. In hats, in ponytail, in ponytail, in ponytail hat. hat. Yes. You should be so proud of yourself. What's more impressive, maybe, is that... Oh, that's pretty impressive. ...most of those sales came from my organic social media efforts. I, I'm well, trying to figure out valuation. how you get, I came Basically. to the valuation. It's one-time revenue. Because it's nine... Oh, it's it's, it's one-time revenue. Stacy. so I, I like you. Uh, I, I think you're great. So uh, I'll give you the 150000 for 15% of the company. Wow. Whoa. Stacy. Great idea, great pitch, and a really great entrepreneur. And that's the kind of partner that I want to mentor, but also I want to learn from. Ooh. I'm going to offer you $150,000 for 15%. <sighs> you have two great offers here. Wow. Manjeet and Wes, is there any way you'd be interested in partnering and giving me an offer together? Two dragons, I... But two dragons cost more. Okay, we will offer you together 150,000 for 20%. Ooh. Coming in today, I knew if I was offered 20%, that was going to be too much. I'd like to accept Manjeet, your original offer of 150,000 for 15%. Is that still but valid? Well, you asked us to team up, so... I don't think that offer's still there. But if it doesn't, there's no deal. Both of us, not worth 5%, for the value that we're gonna bring to your business? Stacy. I will accept that. Man, she, thank you so wow. much. Thank oh, you, Great job. Oh, thank you. Gosh. Yay. Oh, my goodness. I wish I could give you a big oh, hug. A big hug from over here. Manjit, way to throw me under the bus, man. Thank Sorry, you, everyone. Wow. Oh, my, there's like wow. tire tracks all over my back. It's a ponytail <laughs> deal. You weren't the best model for it. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I thought I was going to lose Manjit. <laughs> she really had me worried there. Oh. What's that? Your tie no, broken heart. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Can you switch it in? You stomped on it. You stomped on it. With her heels. With her heels. Christine, what questions do you have for me after seeing it? <laughs> yeah, so, um, well, this part's not a question, but it's, it's so funny to me because, like, Stacy practiced her pitch so many times for that YouTube video that we did where you were preparing for your audition, right? So like, I've heard your speech so many times because I think I only put it in the video like once, but you just recorded the whole time you were practicing. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure you went through the whole thing like six or seven times, I want to say. <laughs> so just hearing it on the show, like I forgot that I basically had it memorized. And when you started <laughs> It, it just like flipped something in my head and I was like, I've heard this before. And then I had to think about it. Yeah. When I was just over and over just trying to say that. So I would say it perfectly on the show. And then yeah. I did. Because I'm like, I have to get this all out perfectly. Like I can't flood my words. It must be perfect. The thing that stood out for me a whole lot was like in listening to it back, I can hear my nerves. Like I can hear how I felt like I couldn't. I wasn't breathing comfortably and I didn't like, I was like, hey, <laughs> I just take a chill pill, Stacey. But like, it was very stressful. So, yeah. um, you well, know. How long did the actual recording, like they cut this down to seven minutes, right? They cut it down to seven minutes. It was 45 to 50 minutes. Of getting of drilled. Me. Like you got way more yeah. questions than they actually showed. Oh, you. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so that's, yeah. that's super nerve wracking. <laughs> so the part where Michelle was like, I don't think that offer's on the table anymore. 
What is going through your brain in that moment? Okay, so what they didn't show was that Manjeet and Wes gave me a combined offer because I asked them to. Mm -hmm. And then it was higher, like it was past the threshold. And my husband and I kind of went through scenarios about what we would accept and it was past that, that threshold. So I called him. So they have a little booth there. They showed none of that. Um, but I went and I called my husband just to like tell him what happened. But more so, I just, I, I felt like I couldn't make the decision in the moment. Like I needed to think about it. Um, I needed to think about it and I, and I knew in my gut that, yeah, this is too high. I don't want to accept this combined offer, but, um, but I needed to think about it. So honestly, it was like, I used the phone call as like a time to think about what I was going to say back to them. But yeah, I made that like mistake, rookie mistake, because I have seen this on the show so many times where somebody offers you something and then like. They come together and yeah, like the, all the dragons are questioning, like, is that deal still on the table? Like it was such a rookie mistake, but in the moment, like I'm just, I'm, my head's buzzing and I don't even like realize that, oh yeah, like those offers are no longer on the table. But I've seen that a million times. Like I just, I want to go back and be like, Stacy, dummy. Like, yeah. yeah, of course those aren't on the table anymore. Um, so don't make that mistake if you're ever once they give you a different offer, the other offer doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. And so what they also don't show is like, they show me like being like having this very dramatic pause, but that's not what happened. So like immediately after I say, Manjeet, I'd like to accept your original offer. And they're like fighting, like, oh, like back at me, like what? Like, but that's not on the table anymore. Whatever that moment happened. I apologize. Like I flat out was like, I am so sorry. I like, forgive me, um, Manji, if your offer is still on the table. And so I said, if your offer is still on the table, would you accept, like, I would love to accept the original offer as you had made it. And, uh, so they didn't show me like doing that. <laughs> they didn't show the phone call to my husband. They didn't show me doing that counter back to Manjeet. Um, but yeah, so that, that is actually how it went down. I was like, I am so sorry. Like I, I was very humble and I was like, yep, I messed that up. And will you forgive me and still accept the offer? And, uh, and then she did, but like, honestly, I like both Wes and Manjeet were like super positive, like the whole time. And Wes was awesome. And there was moments where you didn't see that, like, that actually happened in, in real life <laughs> in person where a few of the times that some of the other dragons had objections, Wes like came in there and was like, like kind of helping me sell. Like at a few moments, he's like, oh yeah, but like your hat's better, right? And like just some different things where he was just being so nice and so supportive and positive. So like, thank you, Wes, for doing that. And like, I really liked Wes, but I think the thing uh, like, and why I decided to go with Manjeet was because, um, like, I knew he's more of this, like, finance guy, and he would be more about the money, and I had said to them, and, Man and Manjeet actually mentions this, like, I'd love to be your mentor, like, I would love to learn with you or whatever, um, and I had said that that was part of something that I was looking for, so I wasn't sure that Wes was going to be able to be a mentor to me in that way, like, I feel like he would have been like the biggest cheerleader to me and would have given me money. <laughs> but I really was hoping for something more value add in the dragon. So in that moment of accept, like deciding, I'm like, A, the offer for Wes and Manjeet is too high. Like I can't give up 20% of my company. Like that's just craziness. Um, but also was okay. Like even for 15%, like what am I going to get from Wes? So, um, I have like, I've seen some of the deals M Manjeet's done in the past and I've seen some of the companies that she's helped. And so I was like, I think like Manjeet, she's my girl. So, um, that's ultimately why in that moment I made that decision. Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. If you have other questions about my experience on Dragon's Den and we didn't answer them today, just pop them in the comments below and we will do a follow up. And I'm assuming we'll have to like even do a follow up on what happened with Manjeet in the future as well. So we can do that and answer all of your questions. But thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll put a link to the actual episode in the show notes for you guys. So if you didn't get a chance to see it yourself, you can head down there and go to the Dragon's Den page. Anyways, thank you so much for being here. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.